Okay. Apparently, the one thing I forgot to check before starting last time was that the game was actually captured, so... Fortunately, there was a save right before the lizard, so I just beat him again real quick. And... Now I get to do the next half hour, as if I was the first time I was doing it. Wow, skeletons. They definitely exist. As soon as I get done with this, I'll be switching back to the original save file. Anyway, that pedestal down there, I have not activated because the first time through, I did not, in fact, have any weights. Whoops. So, obtained shuriken. The weapons inside the ruins. It's me. Sometimes there are weapons in inside the ruins. They look normal, but being weapons from the ruins, they're a bit funny. You can't use weapons without ammo. Collect ammo that matches the shape of a weapon. Once you'll do that, you'll be able to use the weapons. Then I head down this way. Take out this skeleton. Take out this skeleton. I don't know why they have green green and blue eyes. That drops that. Then both of these get pushed off the edge. Which lets me push this off of here. Gets me this pedestal. For some reason I have far fewer weights in this file. But that doesn't matter because, oh look! It's a boss fight. It's a snake, wow! Easy enough. You just stand behind the head and swing upward. Congratulations, you've defeated the snake thing. Wow. Such snake. I guess I teleported too fast. Whatever. Anyway, next thing is go down here. Now back up to the surface. There you are, got something I wanted to tell you. There's a story. Something, something, something. Someone is sleeping. Oh yes, I already found the sleeping person. Thank you very much. Anyway, since I walked directly into a statue and lost 100 health, Need to go all the way back over here to heal. Oh, 
Actually, now that I think of it, slash he mentions it, after beating another boss, she actually has something to say. Finally started to wake up, daughter of the four philosopher, daughter of a tailor, and one of the race of the four philosophers. Uh, chosen to be helper because of her excellence. Come see her. Can't move because of eternal life. Corridor that never ends. Endless corridor. Need the key of eternity. The even deep inside is still endless. Just like this conversation. There we go. Moving floor within the twin labyrinth doesn't move. Uh, stomp on it from high above. Fairy queen key that unlocks a trap. Gate of guidance. No, nope, wrong one. Uh, da da da, where was it? Mausoleum of the Giants. Hit face two times and out of there. One, two, three. Ah, that was greedy. I already knew that three hits is too much. Dang it. One, two, three, jump. And next cycle should be able to finish him off. Or at least finish off phase one. Since he does get temporary invulnerability until he takes off the mask. Dang it. It's only like four more hits after the mask comes off until he dies. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna skip to having completed that when I switch over files anyway, so... Over to where I was in the Inferno Cavern. That die. I hate these rocks. then there's this puzzle. This is where I spent most of that time. Ah, uh, crud. Still don't know how to solve it. So, I've got to have two blocks here so I can push one up that way, which means... Uh, this one can go to the right, I guess. 
push this one that way. That was a mistake. Okay. Alright, so if I push this one this direction... I can uh, push this one here. Push that there. That comes out. Then I just push this to the right. This one can come down. I'll push this one right here. This can go down. That's pretty much close enough. That'll come out there. So I'll push you this way. Put you there. That one comes out. This one can go all the way to the left. And that about solves the block pushing puzzle. Nice. What is this? Flare gun. Uh, shoots fireball straight up after filling the tube with gunpowder. Come back immediately for reels. Anyway, now that I'm caught up on what I did in a half hour last time, do a little bit of exploration. Ah, friggin' hell. No, I said to the title, dang it. Reasoning behind when those things die or don't is beyond me. Stay away from me, rocks. Doesn't save that much damage to cling to the walls. Okay, now how did I solve this? I've already forgotten. Uh, this goes down. It goes over once. This goes over. This goes over, and down, and over. And over. And even further over. Do I have the gloves? I do, okay. It's just extremely slow regardless of what I'm doing.
All right, just making sure I check that. Push that to the right. Push this to the down. This to the over. This to the over. And this one to the down. Which gets me a flare gun. Nice. Well, now what? Move this down to the bottom. here, don't jump directly into the lava. Can't examine you. At the bottom of this land lies the darkness that leads to death. Damn it. So this is it. I'm not handing this software over to anybody. Nobody will know where... I've hit it in a place like this. Mwahahahaha. Ugh. Nice. Behold the Inferno Cavern. It was once the source of strength. The source of strength, archaeological dictionary, Ajanta Caves. Resembles the stupa of India's Ajanta Caves. The centerpiece seems to be a statue of a goddess with a snake's body. Oop. I almost forgot about that. Those seeking Eden, open the four boxes. Seek the four pedestals, find the source of a phenomenal trap in a place bathed in moonlight. Uh, where was the Eden one? Uh, those seeking Eden, find the source of a phenomenal trap. Oof. What you got? Ice cape. With this frosty cloak fashioned from ice, even a dip in the lava will deal only minimal damage. Minimal damage is better than all the damage, that's for sure. Hmm. What's the button? There it is. Alright. Okay. Friggin' hell. I blame the bats entirely. Water weed has been planted here, and there is also a pump that brings in air. A comfortable space for fish. 
Ah, dang it. Oh, friggin' hell. I'm just teleport back up. Well, that was clearly a mistake. You've been living in the ruins for quite some time now. Are you able to read the Lam with Lana script without the help of a device? The numbers are easiest. Each number has its own meaning. Zero is nothing, one is beginning, four is death, and hmm, five is rebirth, six is war, seven is deceit, uh, eight is eternity, nine is ascension. Okay, oh, dang it. Zero. Nothing. One. Beginning. Four, death, five, rebirth, six, war, seven, deceit, eight, eternity, nine, ascension. Okay, so beginning is snake, large is something, uh, wings is also unknown, fish is death, wisdom is rebirth, earth is war, casting mother away is deceit, eternity is not knowing mother, and nine is the spirit of uh, ascension in the body of nothing. I don't know, I can't remember two and three. Statue of Osiris, Statue of Anubis, Statue of Nephitis, Statue of Set. Chamber of Extinction. I did go to the top path, which got me the thingamajig, but if I remember correctly, there was a bottom path. I might want to save, though. Yeah, that was a mistake. I'll come back after healing. Oh, 
or I'll come back after I die to snakes. One of the two. Good thing they only do one damage a piece. Actually, I'm gonna call it there. Save.